What is going on, guys? It is Dodox here, and welcome back to the Skaven campaign for Total War, Warhammer 3. We're starting right in the battle right now. If you don't know, if you watched the previous episode, we were on the on the, the battle screen. And yeah, we've got a siege on our hands here. I thought, you know, we may as well just get into the game play away, straight away instead of having to wait on the loading screen. So we've got 5,000 to spend, so I think we get a, a 2,000 turret up here to start instantly firing. And we'll try and hold them at these gates in particular. Stick some gutter runners on the walls, I'd say, so it activates the towers. They also can't be seen, so that's why they're a decent target to put on the wall, because they cannot be seen, right? They are completely invisible to the enemy. Flame cannons here, but this is where... Oh, wow, this is where the reinforcements are. This is where we could probably get at them with the de with the Doom Frayers. If we were to go outside and sneak out with some Death Runners, we could cause... A little upset there, I'd say. You know? Well, let's start the battle and see what happens. So the Death Runners are going to charge the flame cannons. And then the range is going to come outside like this. And then we'll send out the Doom Flayers as well. Oh, you bastards. They had rangers there. I wasn't expecting that. Those rangers. Yeah, they're burning down this gate. They want to kill it. Oh, wow. Maybe this was not the smartest of moves. But we'll have to see how the rest of this goes. Yeah, I completely forgot about their rangers. But yet, yeah, Ratnik Gunners are sh shooting down the enemy here as they try and bomb my ground. Wait, is that an opening? Yeah, that'd be the flame cannons opening everything up straight away. But it's fine. We're taking out their guns. We're taking out their firepower. So. Oh, and the turrets that seem high, hyper accurate as well. And there it goes. Night number two. Right, both their choppers have been taken out. Okay, the Death Runners are actually having a good day, but at the cost of my Rattling Gunners, which got absolutely destroyed. But it's fine. We'll flame them down now with our remaining units. We have stopped this side from advancing, though. We're going to charge out these units as well. They do have a leader coming here, which is a little bit annoying. But honestly, let's stop the giant slayers. Hold position here. In fact, no new plan. Get these guys ready to fire through when they come through. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, yeah, do that. Seems a bit overkill what we've got over here. So let's move things around. I'd say move these guys over here to defend this position. All right, open fire. Open fire, Rattling Gunners. You have the range. Go. Fire. You're not firing. There we go. Be a little bit bugged. Good. I guess they're capturing the point. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Looks like they're trying to come through the walls. Like, take use bottle ladders, of course. But there are death runners stopping them here. They're not going to get past death runners. Are you guys glitched? Oh, no. They're poisoned. They're suppressed. Oh, I guess that works out. Oh, we don't need these guys available anymore. So charge down. Maybe we flank ground. Get the storm vermin outside. Yeah, just go. Fuck it. Get the guns outside as well so they can actually do some major damage. Oh, the slayer's charged now. They took the time. 
All right, you guys start running. Let's bring in the, the heavy storm vermin. How's it going on this side? Doomfayers have absolutely destroyed this side. I know there's reinforcements coming this way, and I obviously need to prepare for that. They are going to get shot by the artillery as they enter. So get grinders on the entrance because we're getting ready for that next attack. We've also got some decent magic available for when we need it. Yeah, my Rattler Gunners are, are decided that it's better to go out of the city than be inside because they're easier better to shoot at there. We'll charge those flame cannons. Right, I think we're going to need some assistance on the walls now. There's a, a Dwarf Lord there, so... i got to see this. <laughs> Mow them down! That's it. Oh, lovely cinematic effect there. Well, we propelled the first attack, like I said, but there's still a lot more to come. Is it me or a flame cannon's broken? Ouch! Maybe don't walk into flame cannons. It seems like the most logical thing to do. Because that was an ouchy moment. Yeah, bring a walk around in your know, to deal with these little odds that are coming. Right, two minutes of the reinforcements. I have no idea what to expect on those reinforcements. Okay, good. Fire at them. You're in range, go. Bloody hell, flame cannons. Wait, they have my walls? Have they managed that? There's no way they could have the walls. Anyway, it's fine. Bring the other two storm vermin over to the reinforcements over here, because that's where it's going to be a problem. Other than that, we're all good on this side. Hmm, this side, not so good. They've captured the walls. I got an idea. Let's use a plague. Burn. There we are. Deal with some of those dwarfs. All right, my catapult arrives, my second one. We're still having troubles over here. Okay, right. Well, I don't know what the flamers are doing, but they seem to be winning, which makes no sense. Let's stop them from getting in. Oh, reinforcements have arrived. Chopper's inbound. Right, we've got any rattling gunners left. We do. Get them over. Those death runners have held for quite a while, to be honest. Right, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Enemy reinforcements arrive. And they got bombers. I mean, looking my towers are quite accurate, but they are a bit weak. Oh shit, they're going in that way. Right, charge up the hill. All right, my my storm vermin are done. Time to move back into the city. They also have such a pain to take down without firepower. And the problem is, you just don't have firepower in sieges because I can't put rattling gunners on the walls. It's so annoying. If I could put rattling gunners on the wall, man, that'd be so good. 
Oh, another flame cannon. I forgot to add manage below to the army. I'm such an idiot. It's making things a lot more trickier than, than they needed to be. Oh no, here we go. More flame cannons. What grinders are ready though. Let's get them in position for the enemy lord that's coming this way. With all its forces. Oh, can we weaken him? Oh yeah, we can increase our armor and penetration of the units. Where are my um, rattling gunners? I've absolutely no idea how the dwarves have managed that, but they have. Right, here he comes. Right, we'll hold him at the gates. Weaken his armor. Ouch. All right, shoot down the choppers. Support some more troops as well. I go for the archers as they enter. Shoot down the choppers. He's only half dead. Right, anything at the other side of the map? Get over here. Okay, those flame cannons are focusing mainly my clan rats. Which is good. How is it going anyway? They've got 1,000 troops left. We're about to take down their choppers. Well, that's annoying. Stopped attacking it. Oh, no, they didn't. Boom. Right, pull back. Oh, yeah, it's going to go right on top of him. Yes, war blinding cannons. Stop him moving. Ah, yes. Dwarves again with all their fucking leaders will probably end up winning the battle. Just need something to hold them up. Okay, we just do not have the rattling gunners. Yeah, I might lose this. This is going to be quite difficult to win. I don't know how I kill the Lord, so... Yeah, rip. What city is being attacked right now, actually? It's better not be Kaza Karak. Just retook that position. I don't think it is. I think I had a way better army. This... And you forget, actually, what army it was. I can't actually remember which one it was. But no, I don't win. I probably should have played a bit more defensive, I feel like. I tried to um, hold them at the walls, but it's just not worked out one bit. Oh, wait, I have this guy all along? Right, well, let's spot some dreaded 13 outside the city and deal with their archers. I guess it's not entirely over just yet. Especially when they're focused on that. Are all my storm vermin doing anything? Yeah, they're stopping them. This is still going on. Hammerers.
you go deal with their archers outside the city actually no no i'm not going to give up here Still a possibility if we could free up all these units. Catapults have arrived as well. We could finish off the flame cannons. Yeah, the problem is their lords. I don't know what we're going to do about their lords. We're slowly taking out one of my points as well. Chain ideal. I just don't think it's going to be enough, though. I mean, look how many bloody archers are there. Just shoot him with the catapults. Okay, that's them dead. Oh yeah, we can't do anything about the Lord though. Yeah, we're going to lose because of Lords. Yeah, it's going to be all about the leaders here. Whether or not we can kill them or not. Yeah, we're doing no damage to him. What a surprise. What does this do? Put against armor. Is the spell bugged? Right, update. We've killed another one of the Lords. Now it's just him left. It literally is him left. It is 464 Skaven versus one ungrim iron fist and he's running around like a dickhead now all i have to keep doing is boosting leadership but i can't lose unless all my units die and then we will win and this is how it looks ungrim iron fast versus 468 slave um slaves skaven forces And now he waits again and just uh, stay here till he dies because all we can do like i said guys i'll be skipping this shit out because this is just not fun why warhammer implements this in the game if there's just a lord left just win we're charging in again How much health has he got left? Still 4,000. Oh my god, guys. This is fucking stupid. He's got like 700 health left. I've got a thousand left. Maybe I win it by doing this. Where the fuck is he going? Oh, no. This is so stupid. Draw. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a draw means I keep the city. So, fuck it. <laughs> like, what was that battle?
I, I don't think a draw was... I thought I turned time off. I mean... Oh. Um, decisive defeat here, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm not too sure what happened there. I thought I turned time limit off this uh, campaign finally. But apparently I didn't. So, that's annoying. And Hercules was right. I've turned off uh, Jurassic Kingdom and now they're all coming for me. Right, well, Pillars of... Pillars needs defending. We've got the new army here now anyway, so... Right, well, we'll send that guy in to defend. We kept the city, but that, that's important. We kept the city. But I don't want that to happen again because I think that's fucking bullshit to win like that. I feel like there's it's a bit of bullshit going on there. So let's move our new armies forward. Recruit more as well. So get... Oh, yes, Plague Monks. So there we go. So we've got Plague Monks in this army now. Perfect. That's what we want. High board. Um, looking at the other, we got armies that can move up here and come round. Oh, yes. Perfect. So what we could do is, is once this army reaches over here, we've got a siege to go here as well. Ferric victory. Going to be a hard siege. We'll, we'll wait till the end of the turn to do that. Oh, there's an army behind us as well. Keep an eye on that. I wonder if they've been smart enough to leave armies behind. Let's see. Will they anticipate the attack? This is a problem. It's all open sea. We're just going to get absolutely attritionized on the way down. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I fucked that up. It's fine. He needs to get here anyway. And then I guess he's going to have to stay. I could just turn income off here. I don't think it's too much of an issue. Also, we'll build, so we're building public order here anyway, so it should be fine. Crazy how the dwarves are reacting. By the way, this is cancer, and you can't turn it off. And then, I, mean, I swear to God, settlement bars needs fixing now. It's actually the worst update ever for that reason. Right, let's see what happens here. I was meant to fight that battle by... Oh, shit. I think I made a mistake. Dead things, you... Defensive alliance. Ah, so more alliances with the with the undead. That's good. We like that. We want more friends. That's exactly what we want right now. Yeah, I think what we need to do is get our guys to sail near the bit of the ocean. Close to feet. Oh, an interception. An interception means we don't have to fight this, but I'm curious, right? How many mortars we've got? I'm curious how we're going to deal with their army. Look what they're making, by the way. They've got hammerers, long great weapons, troll hammer torpedoes, giant slayers, organ guns. Oh, I've just seen the immortals. And we have no flamers. We don't win the battle. Decline attack. And uh, this one, we win, but we lose a unit. But do we really care about a death globe? Hmm. Do I really care about the death globe? I really don't at this stage. We need to repair Skrulk's army. Uh, what's this give us more bonus? Research rate. Something we need to work on. Right, we've not used rights for a while. I think we need to start using plagues, man. Plagues need to start being used. The unique plague priest. Perform it. Let's get those plagues going because we need to... We need to start... We need to start being really... Sh like, really tactical now on how to beat these dwarfs. Skrulk may need... A little regroupment option. Maybe just get him a more reg more regiments. I'm definitely gonna reinforce Skrulk with this army here when it comes over. I think that would be a good idea. But anyway, we've not really been focusing on the the north. Don't forget about the north. It's important that we don't forget about the north. We're still waiting on these upgrades. There's still loads of upgrades over here. We're waiting on. Wait for him to re heal back up. Hmm, interesting there. That's a lot of units. We got an army standing by here. But other than that, we can't zoom out because it's cancer. 
yeah we'll keep an eye on that as well so here's what my plan is right we're gonna have to go the long way around otherwise we're gonna take too much attrition we need to get to the this bit here because we won't take any attrition going this way around so we need to go into the middle so basically en route this way basically so go this way with our army and then as for Skrulk, he's gonna have to deal with quite a lot of shit here yeah that's that's a scary proposition the problem is we have no flamers in that army we have no flamers in any of these armies these two armies do we just run do we just abandon this city and move up oh i know what we can do okay this will work force march back can we force march i don't think he makes it he's gonna be able to make it this turn I think we just abandon the city. Yeah, I say we abandon Iron Rock for now. We'll retake it in a minute. Yeah. So you climb up here. And you go there like that. I think that's the move we wanted to do there, to be honest. And then this army can reinforce later. I tell you. Remember, we've got this army being made as well, which is going to come over. We've got a few armies further back as well. If we actually hover over all our armies, we're getting an army being made here as well. There's a random army just in Quellanes for some reason. I don't know what's going on here. A couple of rogue armies being really annoying. They're not going to be able to do much, though, because of my... Uh, sorry. Have we thought about capturing all this down? Now my food sorted. I've been thinking about it. It might not actually be a bad idea anymore to get this stuff because we've got... We've got one army just chilling here that could definitely start colonizing some of this stuff. Yeah, it's red territory, but it's more money. We just build pure money buildings around here. But anyway, let's end the turn. Scream, scream. They're, they're preparing an attack. I can tell you right now, that's going to be deadly when that, when that comes. Four armies being made currently. Crazy stuff this episode. Crazy stuff. Well, we expected that to happen. And lose the city, we will. Yep, they take an iron rock. Fair enough, right? Fair play. They've taken it back, but I'm going to retake it in a minute, so don't worry about it. Oh yeah, we're starting to loot again less money now because our armies are obviously being rebuilt. So yeah, right. So here's the situation now. We're going to recapture the city with this army here. We're just going to sit outside. Squawk's going to attack. I doubt they're going to have a full garrison on turn one. Oh, we need to cross the river. I forgot about crossing the river. Have they stayed out of range? Can I not force the fight here? Hmm, we might be able to force the fight here. I might outnumber them. If we put him there and him there, if we attack here, do we only deal with these two? Oh, it's a two on two. Okay. These are the sort of battles we, we like to see. Brawls at their finest. Well, let's get into it. Okay. All right, they're going to sit back and wait for their reinforcements. Five minutes on my reinforcements. Six on theirs. I'm going to have an advantage for a minute. I don't really think it's that big of an advantage, but hey. To be honest, do we just charge their first army? I actually think that might not be a bad idea. Just get get these guys here. Stop cannon firing the crap out of them. Doom Freyers, well, we, they're going to have to just go in. There's, it's an interesting map, this. We've got some cover here that we can use. So sticking a storm vermin in there might not be a bad idea. You have the walk grinders close by as well. Um, we do have choppers to worry about, so rattling gunners as well. We need to be put careful with them. I guess we just charge straight in. Start shooting straight away. And just don't mess about, really. Oh, 
they have vanguard deployment i did not know they had vanguard deployment it's a shame that doomfrayers don't yeah start opening fire at their artillery get their artillery dead first that's the plan be the first to fire there we go Right, position well here. I can see their bomber moving over there. So get both these rattling gunners and move them in position over here. It's gonna be quite hard to see my uh, my bullets on this map. Wait, those are just organ guns. We really, I really don't like their flame cannons. So focus down their flame cannons. Not really too asked about the organ gunners. Get those flame cannons down. Okay, I'm not too sure what their plan is. My second army is very melee, melee based though. Right, we're gonna mess them up here. Spawn some rats on them. But yeah, guys, I'm back. I know, I know it's been a while. Like, you know, proper YouTube, lots of videos. Welcome back to daily videos. Welcome back to the Skaven campaign. Welcome back to the Dwarf campaign. Hello, some new campaigns. We're back and we're ready. We're ready to really get some content out this in these next two weeks. It's going to be an exciting times on the channel. Yes, yeah, so we're trying to stop their artillery from firing immediately. We seem to be doing the upper hand here. We've annihilated their flame cannons there. Those ones are down. I wouldn't stop firing though. Keep attacking their, their flame cannons there as well. I'm not too sure what they're doing. Why they would just wait. But hey, what am I what am I to know? Do you know, I do this sometimes. I kind of panic when I'm getting shot at a lot. Oh shit, my artillery's being fired at. What do I do? Not to mention they are getting spawned on as well. There's no way you know there's warp grinders in there. You're full on cheating if you do. But yeah, get rid of them flame cannons. At least organ guns you can actually kind of deal with. But flame cannons seem really strong. Three minutes on my reinforcements, two minutes on my reinforcements. You know what we might do? I might back up up to the hill, you know. We got a pretty powerful hill there. I don't really want to fight on the ground floor or up on a dwarf hill. So what I'm going to do, as soon as my reinforcements arrive, this is going to sound silly, but I'm going to back off up the hill instead and let them come to me. Right, that's the last of their flame cannons. They seem to be shooting the other way. They're defo bugged. Well, how are we doing? One to go. Organ guns. I don't know why they keep saying orcs when it's not orcs you're fighting. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the dwarves are doing. They're not using their artillery. Second army got artillery. Oh, a shit ton. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea what they're doing. I can't explain it, guys. 
I guess they don't want to fire their shots. In a way, it's kind of funny, but yeah, I'm I'm not really too sure what they're doing. Right, well, their artillery is dead. We'll start focusing down some more dangerous stuff like their Iron Drake torpedoes next. We're just tanking the damage here. Is that what we're feeling like? I know what it is. It's the stubbornness of not wanting to give up the hill of vantage. Anyway, here come my reinforcements. An army of, of army of plague world sensor bearers heading down the hill. Oh, we got snipers. They're definitely going to stay on the hill. Like, let's be for real. Snipers staying on the hill. Okay, I'm poor pedos being targeted next. There's two things the dwarfs are going to do when the reinforcements come. They're either going to sit there and take more damage, or they're going to instantly charge me. There's two things are going, going to happen. I've right, got some extra rattling gunners. Let's get them set up immediately. We've got some rat ogres. They're going to go in with the army. Two extra warp blinding cannons. They're going up on the top there. Right, so what's their plan? They're going to charge. Okay, right. Well, I've used all my bullets up. So these guys... Was that their plan all along? Make me use my ammo? Yeah, I have more catapults though. So, don't know why they thought, why they thought about that. It's going to be a game of chicken here. Who wants to give up their, their position? Because it's going to be tricky either way. Right, line of storm vermin. Guess they can go in front of the play more sense bearers. Yeah, stick some flamers there. It's a shame I can't use that bit of the hill. That would be awesome. Okay, they're definitely charging, so we're going to back off. Boom. By the way, these guys are pretty much done for, so I'm going to leave them there to fire. There's no point. They're going to be sitting ducks. They're not going to make it back, so I'm just going to let them keep firing. But I'm going to pull back up onto the hill. Because why would I not want to be in a more better position? May as well get more kills well before they run out. Once they run out of ammo, they can run away, obviously. I want to keep them alive, if possible. But I'd run them off the battlefield, you know what I mean? I wouldn't keep them on. They've done their purpose. One more fire shot. What about these rattling gunners? They nearly forgot, got forgotten about. What a map, by the way. Okay, right. Gonna use your last bullets. Oh, we're getting shot at now. Flame cannons and all sorts. Everything has pulled back though. Right. Drop siege equipment and run. Pull back to the hill. Oh, we're getting suppressed. Is it me or do the catapult team look like plague monks? <laughs> I'm loving my new effects, by the way, that I've added to reshade. It's so nice. So this is what it looks like, the bigger picture. We're getting shot at, but so am I. Oh, sniper's opening fire now. Yeah, I've got a lot of firepower on the flanks. The choppers love to go through the flanks. I've got loads of firepower. Okay, here we go. Well, that did nothing. I did a bit more damage. All right, so yeah, they've decided to charge up. Which is good. I'm glad they've made that decision. Which means I'm now going to get focused because I can see there's some choppers.
pretty brave. I'll give it. I'll give him that. Wait, let's get our snipers. Where are they? To focus down the fucking leader. Because you know what? We know how annoying their leaders are. So if we take out their leader, then that's big. And I actually do the same with my artillery here as well. Focus that leader. Oh, wait, the, the rattling gunners have got that. Oh, I've left this gap open for a reason. If they ever try and come this way. All right, they've exposed their artillery. Yeah, they're, they're charging their artillery right in. Uh, yeah, my artillery should not be firing there. Let's look for clumps. Yeah, take out some of their, like, firepower and stuff, I'd say, with the artillery. Here we go! Lovely! Lovely stuff! Okay. Send in the sensor bearers and those guys. So Rattling Gunners are still going to fire. What a hill, by the way. Okay, right. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. No, no artillery fire at leader. You change targets now. Oh, here come the Rattling Gunners. They're opening fire on the bomber. Stay where you are. I love the whole position command. So many good mods. Right, let's look. Let's just charge through their lines now with the Doom Freyers and just go for. Yeah, pretty much. And this is the cinematic effect that's happening right now. Now, left this open for a reason so my flamers can do some damage on the iron breakers. Am I doing players listening to me or are they struggling to get through targets? They're struggling to get through targets. I guess I have to just keep clicking them till they listen. Oh, I love it. I love the fire. Oh, why don't we spawn some more units? Like break up their lines. Oh, we killed one of their leaders, but their other leader lives. All right, snipers, you know what to do? Hit the leader. This is what you're born to do. Snipe leaders. You do it. Who my sense of errors got through? Not my sense of errors. My doom frayers, they got through. Right, go for any range. Oh, where's my other leader? Send him over to the other side so we can do magic over there. Like, for example, increase their melee attack on this side. You're kind of doing nothing, so go help. Yeah, you. some reserves can go in here now. Don't block that because we want to focus their leader down. So go over there instead. Ah, one monster. Charge in. Two monster. And we annihilated their artillery this game before it could even do anything. I'd honestly say this is going quite well. Personally. Weaken their armor. And our snipers are having a field day taking out the commanders. So that's brilliant. Don't think they have any choppers left either. They do not. See, that's big. Yeah, this kind of became a slaughterhouse. Oh, two reasons. There was a giant hill I could use. That was one of the reasons. The second reason, their, second, their first army just sat there and took it. So I'm not really too what to make of this battle. Yeah. 
it was fun it's a fun battle to play still really enjoyed it and i've needed an easy battle it's been quite hard recently so you know what? i'll take i'll take a nice easy battle considering the battles we have been playing recently i think two on two is definitely the best because everyone's got the same number of units so it's just about who has the better um, army comp and uh, movements and everything like that and the better terrain and stuff a lot of my army stayed out of the battle like for example my guns just got to shoot this game they didn't get targeted at all so they have just literally annihilated everything in their path And with a battle like this one, we can definitely move in and go on the offensive again. Because we've taken out two armies, which is massive in the grand scheme of things. Ready, ready. All right. Let's slow them down. Open the tanks. Run it down. Doom. We have Doom Flayers. Use them. Use them. Use them on targets. Um, playbooks are pretty fast. I'd get them to start focusing stuff. Monsters can be pretty fast. Get them to focus stuff as well. And artillery. That's retreating. Any units that are retreating, just open fire at. Look for clumps. Bye bye. Skip this on a bit now. Everything should start getting focused. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wow. The flame attacks then. A lot's going to get away, annoyingly. We just don't have the tools to chase them down, which is a shame. But it's fine. Off they go. And victory is mine. Right. That was very successful. In fact, you know, that is a cinematic replay. Uh, we lost a couple of storm vermin but other than that i mean playbooks do a lot of damage but yeah it was a, it was a good battle we killed a lot of their troops then we got 14 grand for that fight as well so Warlock um, we're just gonna get it straight back gaven eh right this battle's next ferric victory medium we've definitely weakened them we're still waiting on a few siege towers. I want to make sure that we have enough siege towers to just overcome their position on all sides, really. Basically, I need to stop losing troops. We have ma we have replenishment, and the more siege towers you have, the better. So, oh, no, but we can go here and look at our cities like this, and then we don't have to move around. We just go through them all. Look for the ones that like look like the public order's bad, you know, and just upgrade the city and build the public order building, which is being built. Right, what's going on here, anyway? Master Engineer. He's walked into Master a bit of a trap. Engineer. Okay, well, Just in that case... I'm not fighting Master it because I think I just win too easily otherwise. Oh, they got ambushed. So even better. There we go. Prepare army. We really need to Master get rid Engineer. of the corruption in these regions. We did build the corruption building, didn't we? For small scale and corruption yeah we're getting way more corruption so eventually the attrition should go away um oh wait we can raid <laughs> don't forget about raiding raiding's good labor force available per turn hmm. i'll tell you what it's still still tricky to do But we're in no we're getting no threats happening here and all we're doing is stopping this army from moving around and doing stuff so i just keep it there for the time being belagor looks like he's gonna have a bit of a battle against skrulk yeah why am i not doing this right now actually why has scroll got the better army come on will focus uh, get it get it together lad Take all them. Take the catapults. 
Okay, are we slightly over? Yeah, that's how it should be. No idea what, what was going on there a second of the time being. Hmm. Oh, should we hit him deep right now? To send this guy forward. Just go underway over the wall. Oh, it's going to be tricky to underway. We go there. And then try and, like, go to Black Iron Mine, like over here. Really start hitting them deep. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Is that a cafe? They're really cutting a line in the Dwarven Empire. Look at this. They're, like, cutting them in two. Yeah, it's not, it's not looking great for cafe. I'll admit that right now. Contract approved. But yeah, we're finally making some progress. Because our next objective is taking out Mount Squig Herd. It's going to be some battle. Look at look look at the amount of units around this battle that's going to happen. All right. We'll wait on our reinforcements. We'll wait on this guy. He's one turn away as well. I suppose we could bring this guy over or hit them deep. I'm not too sure the best solution. But let's end the turn and see what the enemy do. Because remember, they, they always do something annoying that's like... You think you've won, then... Ah, yes. By by attacking a city, for example. And I don't win this in a million years, so... The fight back is on, it seems. The Dark Elves will not surrender. So... Might have to start making forces over here again. Which means, then, the Dwarven line gets weakened a little bit. Decisive defeat attacked a city Kazakarak has attacked Bazan Dorsbag. what a city is this I've definitely not established it what's the uh, conditions ah it's another siege map um but <laughs> and there's a but here um they've got troll hammer torpedoes alien breakers organ guns I don't win this Accept the loss, because he's going to lose the city. Yeah, they're trying they're trying to intervene on me right now, the bastards. Right, what's the situation? Yeah, they don't have even a garrison there yet. Attack it quickly. Get it down. Decisive low. That's what we want. Tier 4, the damn city. This time, actually, place a garrison down. That was a mistake. Right. This battle should be ready now. Close victory medium. That is much better odds. They're more or less likely to screw me over. And I think I've got quite a lot of siege towers for this. Right, guys. I think I'm going to conclude this episode of the Skaver campaign. Because I'm not going to lie. We made some hella progress. In a way. I say progress. Um, I don't think we have actually no we've lost territory so uh, yeah we're bringing over some more armies as well and we're going to try and stop the dwarfs once and for all I say I say this every in outro that we're going to finally kill them but they always have something up their sleeves it's a war it's what it is but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one Bye for now. By the way, Hercules, that has made such a difference. You were fucking right. See you in the next one. Bye for now.